folks, Jonathan Wilson, and it's another Bistro blog. Well, I'm holding a Bistro Plus, <laughs> I should say, Bistro Plus, and um, this one has a story behind it, though. Um, last summer, last autumn, somewhere in there, uh, we shipped one over to Thomas Brunkard over in Ireland, Morning Thomas, and anyway, the there was an unfortunate thing that happened. It uh, didn't make it there in one piece. Uh, some rough handling, actually probably a drop from a big height and just the inertia was just too much. Um, this is what was left of it. And uh, what we did was we took what was left of the, you know, the fingerboard and just some of the essentials that were on it and rebuilt it. Um, yeah, they didn't want to honor the claim and uh, we're all about happy endings around here. So uh, anyway, I know it's been quite a few months, but uh, we're actually uh, getting ready to uh, send it to its destination. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you this uh, beauty. This one has a unique feature that I, we haven't really done on the other ones. Uh, it had, uh, we did it once on this particular one, where there was uh, sort of some detail around the uh, sound port there. And uh, so we wanted to pretty much duplicate it on this one. So this was, uh, anyway, it's unique. It's not something we've been doing on all of them. But I thought it was pretty cool. It's, it has sort of the shape of the end of the fingerboard that was fairly typical on uh, the Toga Mans here nowadays. Anyway, if you like more information on the instruments of build, go to togamanguitars.com, T-O-G-A-M-A-N guitars.com, or guitarviles.com, G-Y-T-A-R-V-I-O-L-S.com. Thank you very much for uh, watching and listening. Have an exceedingly awesome day and be inspired.